Good day, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Oblivion. So, uh, previously we started the Fighter's Guild and I thought, why not do more side quests, I guess? Well, I wanted to do them after the quest line. I thought, let's start some now. Because it'll be more interesting that way. So, there's one with Jin Sin, and we can speak Feel with her. free to browse, friend. Let's see how Please, we're friendly go on. Yes. Tell me about Thorinir. I think you might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Perhaps you can assist us with a problem we're having here in the Market District. Uh, start from the beginning. I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Not every store is a member, but we're slowly trying to convince them to join. Everything was fine until Thorinir opened his shop nearby. Selling all sorts of merchandise, he undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. He doesn't always sell what we sell, but it is still a problem. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. It's getting so bad, a few of us may have to close up shop. He outright refuses to join the society or even discuss the matter. We are convinced he's up to no good. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. Find some proof of his wrongdoing and let us know. We cannot do it ourselves, as he recognizes all of us. The job pays a fair bounty in gold when he is brought to justice. Okay, then. Thanks again for your uh, help. Let's see. Quest added and friendly competition. Let's check it out. A group calling themselves the Society of Concerned Merchants has hired me to investigate a new store that's just opened up in the market district with ridiculously low prices. They suspect the owner must be doing something illegal. I should pay a visit to Thorinir at the Copious Coin Purse. Let's go and see what the hell he will say about his inventory. I mean, this is a good quest to do at the begin at the beginning of the game. I feel like, because the reward is pretty good. What kind of deal can I make for you today? Well, first let's see. What can I, have I interest sale. you in some of my wares? Arrows, clothing, imperial breeches. Do we need them? Food, books. Are there random junk? Tell me about your inventory. What about my inventory? Well, where do you get it? Well, uh, that would be a trade secret. I can't divulge how I pass the great savings on to you now, can I? Just like a baker not revealing his best recipes, I must keep my sources anonymous, or every merchant in town would use them. Suffice to say, they are quite reliable and low cost. That way, you walk out with a full coin purse. I don't trust you. Like Goodbye. at all. Hope to see you again very soon. Let's see. Speaking to Thoranir hasn't revealed any information. Since he's obviously hiding something, I should keep an eye on him and watch what he does after his shop closes. As it closes around 7 p.m., I believe. So I guess I can just wait. Till it's. Well, let's try 6 p.m. first. Because I don't actually remember when they close up their shops. Not yet, apparently. Or is he in a different place? No, he's still in his store. You're not going to close up Thorinir? Because it's kind of weird. Oh, here he is. I'm just going to follow him very sneakily. How does he disappear like that? Hey there, Pelaniria. Don't mind me um, skulking around like a weird person. Oh, that's a Mantius Electus. We stole his diary before. You want to learn to fall off a building? 
Did he really just say you want to learn how to fall off a building? What? That's a dialogue sentence I never heard in this game. <laughs> oh my god. How does one learn to fall off a building? Huh. Well, I don't know. I wonder what the guards are thinking looking at me following this guy <laughs> like this. I, I They should arrest me honestly for that but And there's also some DLC quests we should do. I forgot about those. Those miscellaneous deal sequests that I call them uh, because you know they're not like the Knights of the Nine or Shivering Isles quests. Um, we have the houses quests, which, which they're not really quests, you just get a map marker for the house and then an objective to buy stuff for it. Uh, but we do have uh, Mehrun's Razor, that quest, and I think. Something with the mages killed, I forget what it's called. So you should oh and of course one of the <laughs> quests that I should do which I mean requires nothing. Honestly I should do it in this episode is getting the horse armor. Which I mean it's a useless DLC but I have it and might as well complete it, right? So yeah, we should do some of those. Honestly, I should do Maroon's Razor because, I mean, it's a good weapon. Why not get it? Did he go into the chapel? Hello. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? Nothing I'd like to talk about. Why is this side barricade? Well, has uh, What's going on with you? those little they fences and this side doesn't. I'm guessing he's, Together, he'll just stand here, so let's just wait for one more hour. He probably will appear in... What the hell? What? Why are... What? What is happening? Why are their heads glowing? Go ahead, please. Why is your head glowing? Take care. Uh, let's just wait till he exits. That was weird. You have my ear, citizen. Yeah, I, I know that I have your ear, but why did their heads go like that? Probably um, one of the mods glitching out. I guess I don't know. I wonder what Thorinir did for those three hours in that church. Did he really pray? Speak. Or is this not a church? Let me check, cause. I forget, it's the Temple of the Nine, right? Oh, the Temple of the One, not the Nine. I thought it was the Temple of the One, but I didn't say it, because I thought I was going to be wrong, but I would have been right, so... And their heads are still glowing. It seems like their what hair is, it, is really bright. I don't know. So yeah, this quest is pretty boring, because you just follow this guy around for half of the quest and then some similar stuff happens, I guess, but... I like how he doesn't care that I'm following him. Remember, trespassing in the Imperial Palace is a serious crime. Do not venture beyond the first and second floors. Oh my good guard, you do not know what I've done in my past. Well, in this year, I guess. Oh, I ventured past those floors. Actually, still a, an All elder skull, but apparently they don't. The Imperial know. Palace, at least on the first two floors. Yeah, yeah.
I wish this quest was in a different city. A smaller one. Because the Imperial City is so big and it's annoying to follow him to follow him around. But we don't have a choice now, do we? Back to the market district again. What is he doing? Such a strange man. Good to see you. Oh, wait. Great. Let's go. Oh, I see a person. He's meeting someone. That you, Agamir? Shh! Not so loud. How many times have I told you that? Sorry. I am not used to this kind of meeting. It always makes me nervous. Well, just shut up and listen to me. The next shipment will be sooner than I expected. Just have the money ready. Same assortment of things? I mean, I have enough clothing for now. You take what I get. I get notice at the last second, and I have to jump on it. No time to be picky about it. Well, that society is putting more pressure on me, so maybe we better cut back for a while. You cut back now, and I'm going to take my business elsewhere. Or maybe pay a visit to that Jen scene and tell her about your little scheme. Fine. You made your point. Contact me when you have the items, and we'll meet again. Don't worry. It'll be very soon. Now get out of here. I've observed a meeting between Thorinir and a mysterious man named Agrimir. Looks like my new target is Agamir. I should follow him and see where he goes. More following! Great. Great, let's do it. Hopefully he won't go somewhere and stand in one place for five hours. Hopefully. Why is he stopping literally when a person walks near him? Does he not trust people? Probably. At least he's faster than Thorinir. Now hi how I always do this quest is I follow him to a certain point, I guess, because I know he lives in the Talos Plaza district, and I usually just run to his Speak. house, uh, because he locks it, I believe, and you have to wait for a certain amount of time to actually be able to enter it, or I might be completely wrong, because I know I couldn't enter it uh, the first time I did it, and I actually followed him. Uh, I've discovered that Agomir has a house in Talos Plaza. I should go inside when he's not around and investigate. Yeah, probably have to wait. So let's just pick the lock and enter his house while he's walking somewhere over there uh, and take the stuff that we need. Sorry, friend. It looks like you've wandered into a restricted area. You've got to leave now. Can I just run to his... Oh man, he's following me around. Well, this is inch. I probably can't enter. Uh, his home and the door is barred from the inside. So maybe we should wait till it's morning, maybe. Um, I didn't expect for him to uh, fast travel to his house. Teleport there. Maybe we can enter it now. He's still inside. 
guess I have to just wait around because I don't honestly know when he's... Well, dang. When is he not home? Oh, oh. Great. Now we can snoop around. Brief history. A brief history of the Empire. Might as well read it. Biography. I probably read that before. Nothing interesting will be uh, in the entrance to the house. So let's just go to the basement because I know that something will be there. Let's see. Oh, calipers and I'm oh, oh, not going to steal them because I don't really like having stolen stuff in my inventory. Oh my god, this is a long thing. I found my way into Agamir's basement. The place consists of an odd assortment of clothing and trinkets. Most disturbing is the dirty shovel and mud encrusted boots tucked into the corner and the bits of ground bone meal st strewn about. I suspect Agamir's stock is cells to Thoranir is taken from the recently dead. I should continue to search carefully for more solid evidence into this grisly accusation. So I think we might want to take the shovel. Or maybe not, we will see. Macabre Manifest. I found a manifest that seems to detail names of the recently deceased, where they were buried with and their locations in Cyrodiil. I should take this macabre manifest and confront Thornier as he may not realize where th his merchandise is coming from. Let's see, let's take it. You know what, I should actually read it because I'm kind of interested. Uh... Verdellus Vagarian Imperial sequel to- oh my god. Yeah. I guess that's why he sells it for literally nothing to Thorinir and then Thorinir to people. Yeah, but that's kind of disgusting. Imagine buying a shirt, pants and wearing them, not knowing they're from a dead person. Ew. Okay, let's go to the market district. Look at the muscles on you. Why does that feel creepy? Uh, another person said that to me before starting the episode. I went to an inn in the Imperial City to sleep. And a dark elf said that and I was like, what? Why? Why are you talking about my muscles? Thornier. Welcome back. Yeah, glad to be here. Uh, the items you have, they're taken from the dead. I I can't believe what I'm seeing in this book. Yep. I'm mortified to think these things here were once on the bodies of the recently deceased. It's just too horrible to comprehend. I don't even know what to say. I, I guess an apology is not enough. What can I do? Help me catch Agamir. Yes, that's the least I can do. First and foremost, I will never meet with him again. I can promise you that. Secondly... I remember him mentioning a place he had to be this very day. Hmm. Yes, that's right. He said that he wouldn't be able to do anything else, as he had something important to do. You don't think he would dig up another... Oh, no, he wouldn't. But I guess he has been. Oh, my. What have I done? Don't worry, I'll stop him. Yes, you do that. And in the meantime, I'll decide what to do with all these ill-gotten things. I'm so sorry. I hope you can. Okay, he is over me. there. Let's, I had no let's exit. Uh, magically travel to the palace, and then deal with Agamir, because he's trouble, isn't he? Oh, let's check the, the subject. Blah blah. 
Uh, after showing the macabre manifest to Thorinir, he agreed to stop meeting Agamir. He also told me that Agamir said he had something important to do this very day. I think I need to check out the local graveyard as the last name on the list was here in the Imperial City. I should return with one more piece of evidence of Agamir's crime to confirm the manifest's contents. Great. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to use Umbra, I shall equip Gold Brand. I've noticed that the door to the Trentius family mausoleum has been unsealed. This must be Agamir's doing, I should proceed inside. Okay, and I should equip the helmet. That helps me see in the dark. And it's very, very good. Or maybe I don't need it. Well, I don't really need it, actually. Great. I've located Agamir inside the Trentius family mausoleum. It appears as though he's attempting to desecrate another grave along with someone else I don't recognize. I need to convince him to stop this heinous act. Heinous act? I don't know. He probably won't step. Ooh, you have an I had ugly a feeling beard. you'd catch on sooner or later. That's why I had this trap prepared for you. If you'll notice, the grave is already dug. Oh, you think I'm afraid? This time, it wasn't to take something away from the graveyard. It was to add something. I'm afraid all I can offer you is an unmarked grave. Well, I mean, you do have a bodyguard with Dejic armor, which is kind of good. Yeah. But, like, I have so many health points you that they're not the doing same. anything <laughs> to me. He's dead. Agamir has been slain since the penalty for grave robbing is death. It somehow seems as though justice has been done. I should search for the grave... I, I should search the gravesite for anything potentially incriminating. I should kill a roll girl, real his name. Kill the full set of Dejic karma. You know what? I think I have the shield, so if he has it, I will take this, this. I'll take the whole set, because I t don't remember what the hell I have. Serpent Longsword. I want to check it out, just because I'm interested. I will most likely throw it away. But man, it kind of looks cool, doesn't it? But, you know, the thing is... Oh, the debaser is the sword that I want. <laughs> I actually not have that. Drain willpower, 25 points. And drain endurance, 25 points for 20 seconds. On strike. Uh, an interesting look... An interesting weapon, I guess. Looks pretty cool. Not that great right now. Don't know why I took his key. He's naked. Uh, good at the beginning. Really good. But we can try it out for now. But uh, let's see. What do I need to take? A Wagamir shovel. I should throw in the regular shovel that I took from his house. Uh, where is it? Because I'm carrying it and I don't need it. I should take this. I've acquired Agamir shovel. Still damp with the fresh earth of the open grave. This is the final bit of proof I need of Agamir's crime, so I should bring it back to Thoronir. Let's go. So yeah, this quest is really worth it for the weapon, I feel like. I should have actually done it at the beginning. Man, that's a great weapon to have. But anyway, I'll add it to my collection. Off camera, I'll put it... In my skin red house, I guess. Were you able to stop Agamir? Yes, here is his shovel. Then we can at last rest. I feared had he somehow bested you, I'd be next. It is fortunate that your skills exceeded his. I've come to some decisions. I intend to donate all of the money I have made, as well as what is left of these stolen items, to the temple. Great. I also want you to know that I had a long discussion with Jen Seen, and I have decided to join the society. I realize you risked your life to give me a chance, and Thorinir never forgets things like that. Accept this ring as a humble reward. It's the least I can do to say thank you. Now, don't be a stranger. The copious coin purse is still in business. You've. Let's see. 
Uh, where is it? Weatherward circle. There's this fire and frost. Thirty percent on salt. Not bad. It looks cool. Well, Show it's a golden me mercy. Ring, but I won't looks forget. different than the other ones. Now we can go and speak to Jin Sin actually, and she'll give us a reward as well. Which I Make think that she gives you gold and it's level jail. based, which we might give a kind of a lot of it. I don't know. I have been anxiously awaiting your return. Uh, which one am I supposed to? Well done. This shovel will certainly confirm Agarmere's crimes. Along with the manifest, it should prove useful to the City Watch. In your absence, Thornir visited and we spoke at length about his role in this scheme. I believe him when he says he didn't know Agarmere's sources. He told me of his intentions to donate all of the money and inventory to the local temple. He also agreed to buy and sell merchandise at fair prices. Last but not least, he's officially joined the society. I am taken aback by his honest intentions. In return, the society has decided not to press charges. His name will be absconded from the records of this crime. Now, I'm sure you are waiting to hear about your reward. The society thanks you for everything you have done. Please, take this gold. Many thanks on behalf of all of us. 500 gold. I thought she would give me more. Well, it's something, I guess. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Now then, we've completed that quest. Uh, let's use the horse armor quest and the objective thingy. Um... I should do Canvas the Castle, actually. It's an interesting quest. But not today. Oh, repairing the orrery is the Mage's Guild side quest uh, DLC thing that I was talking about. Let's see. Horse armor. I've discovered a notice from Snack Grabura of the Chestnut Handy Stables. She's offering the two outfit a horse with armor and no charge to anyone who presents her. With a note like the one that I found, I should bring my horse to her and take advantage of this offer. Yeah, I think there are even memes of this quest, right? Uh, DLC, I should say, not quest, but you know. They added armor, but it does nothing. Why? I don't know. It's weird that it doesn't protect the horse, I don't know. At least visually it looks cooler, right? Hi there! Snock Grabura, owner and proprietor. We board horses and, well, we don't actually sell horses. Anymore, that is. Because she ate them. That's why her name is Snack Grabura. Anyway, I'm here about the horse armor. What can I interest you in? Uh, let's see, well... I feel like a lot of people take the elven armor, no? Should I take the steel armor? I don't know. Let's take the elven armor. I'd like the elven armor for my horse. Here you are, just like I promised. Thanks again for all the help. I don't know what kind of help she's talking about, though. Thank you. Snag Grabura armored my horse for free. From now on, she will outfit any legally owned horse that I bring to her with steel or elven armor for 500 coins. Okay. I should have said gold, but doesn't... It looks cool, I mean, right? I guess. Let me grab a quick screenshot for the thumbnail. Can I actually write somewhere where the sunset is glowing? Because it will look cooler that way. Well, can't really see that now, can we? Anyway. So this is where we'll e we will end it today. Uh, probably in the next one we will do Canvas the Castle, because I really like that quest. And there's a really interesting quest in Braville actually as well. Well, anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode and this let's play. Uh, please like and subscribe if you are enjoying it. I would appreciate it a lot. And I shall see you all in the next episode. Hope you have a, a very great day. Goodbye.